Good evening and welcome to the evening news on the Paveros TV Africa. The Nigerian police has arrested eight suspected court members at the Ekiti State University, Ado Ekiti. The police public relations officer, Ekiti State Command, Sunday Abutu said in Ado Ekiti on Wednesday that the arrest they made the previous day followed the intervention of men of the Rapid Response Squad following a distress call. Away from that, the Department of Development Control of the Abuja Metropolitan Management Council of the FCT administration has demolished shanties illegally built on a road corridor in Use Zone 3. The coordinator of the de development, Mr. Felix Oboa, told journalists after the exercise on Wednesday that the move was part of efforts to clear all shanties in the city. Furthermore, the House of Representatives has called for security presence in schools across the nation to address the worsening security situation in the country. The decision of the House is sequel to the adoption of a motion of urgent public importance moved at the plenary on Wednesday. And lastly, the Association of Capital Markets Academics of Nigeria, ACMAN, has expressed its concern regarding the turning of the proposed 0.5% cybersecurity levy introduced by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Increased banking charges could lead to a decline in bank patronage, thereby impeding the CBN's effort to manage inflation effectively. I think the cybersecurity levy is ill-timed coming at a time when the CBN is concerned about the high rate of financial exclusion and the increasing rate of currency circulating outside the banks. It carries the downside risk of discouraging financial intermediation as well as complicating the transmission of monetary policy with more people shunning the banks due to high charges. CBN extends suspension of processing fees on large cash deposits to September 2024. Thanks for watching. I remain Elizabeth Ogo.